Great. Okay, Ma, where were you born? In Toronto, June the uh, 26th, 1918. Do you speak or understand Maltese? Um, I don't speak uh, Maltese, but I do understand it. I understand. What are your parents' full names? My mother is with Bulamina, and uh, for short, they called her Mina. And in English, she was Minnie. <laughs> she liked <laughs> she liked dogs and fish. Did you always have pets? Yes. In the early part of our life, they were hound dogs. Later on, they were the other type of dogs, which are oh, the, their names were Farley and uh, Taffy. Right. Um, <laughs> what, what was your dad like? <laughs> My dad. <laughs> uh, I was two years old when he died, and I never got to know him. And his name was Felix, and I only kn knew him from what my uh, mom had told me. Right. What were your grandparents' names? My grandma was Polly. <laughs> And my grandfather was Jacob. Was Jacob. In Maltese, they called him Jobo. <laughs> Did you know him? <laughs> How many brothers and sisters do you have, and what are their names? One brother and uh, six sisters. Um, their names are uh, Mary. Is deceased, Adeline, Emmanuel, who is Bill, Alice, Beatrice, Rose, and Joan. You looked after your sisters at what age and why? Um, at the age of 11, uh, I looked after my sisters in the Depression, which was called the Dirty Thirties, and uh, because of uh, uh, my dad. Uh, not having much work, you line up for a few for a few hours of work each day, and my mom went to work also. Did you have a best friend growing up? Not really, but our neighbors were Jewish, and two sisters were friendly. Their names were Hila and Dobla, and in English, Helen and Dorothy. Did you have a favorite game as a child? Yes, hopscotch. Did you have, or do you have a favorite color? Uh, it's uh, orchid or a light purple. When you were a teenager, did you participate in activities like sports or dancing? Dancing. What kind of dancing? Oh, all kinds of dancing. Jitterbug, waltz, ballroom. Ballroom. What was your first paying job? Working at Canada Packers for 23 cents an hour and worked up to 20 se 28 cents an hour after seven years. Out of all the jobs you have ever had, what job did you like the best? Working with families, especially with uh, new babies and getting the uh, older ones to help. Do you have a favorite food or a special dish that you like? I can eat anything, but I love cake and candy and a cup of tea. You have done charity work. Can you tell me what your role was? Volunteer assistance to seniors, the sick, and the single mothers. Do you have hobbies? Gardening. Did you ever drive a car? I drove a car when I turned 50 and also got my ears pierced. You were involved in a car accident. Can you tell me about it? Um, a stormy morning, April the 16th, 1984, at a crosswalk. You always go downtown. What do you do? Um, I go downtown and... Uh, put that on the other page. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I go to Mass at Cathedral, light my candle, and usually stay for the rosary, and then buy a candy bar and shop. 
Do you like to travel? Yes, I do. Where have you been? I've been to uh, Malta, to Rome, Ireland, in England, Vancouver, Florida. Where would you like to go? To the Holy Land. Do you like music and what kind? Um, I like uh, jazz, musicals, choir. Um, do you like plays and movies and do you have a favorite? I like plays, but I have no favorites. You have no favorites. Most, have, mostly musicals that I like. Have you seen the Pope where and when? I've seen the Pope three times and shook his hand once. And once at the Vatican in Toronto and down to you. <laughs> Can you tell me about your kids, what they were like growing up? About our are my kids, our pride, our joy, our life and love, each one different, each special in their own way. My parents went to Florida every year and you came to, t uh, you, you'd come to our house and look after us for three or four weeks. Do you have any funny moments that you can tell us? Yes, many funny moments. Especially uh, watching all restricted TV by their parents and uh, delivering uh, daily papers, Mark and Maureen one team, Colette and I the other, if uh, Colette was able to stomach the smell of curry powder. 